Okay, this is the track today. It's called Dirty Big Blue. Uh, Big Blue is a track from F-Zero? Is it a homage to, um, to that one? Since it's called that, I wanted to listen to the soundtrack. Free to play a couple of days today, which means a lot more players, which means it might be a bit harder to get Division 1. Map contains custom stream friendly music. Okay, wait. No uh, no music then? Let's bump the soundtrack. Okay. I think we're gonna check the GPS here if there is one, because uh, I will probably get very confused. But damn, this looks great so far. It's so, like, shiny, the map. Blue is dirt. Okay, blue is dirt. I want to, afterwards, like, take a look at some of the details. Because there's some pretty sick details on the scenery. Okay, well, I got a one minute time, but I waited 14 seconds at the start. I think a really cool thing about these tracks too is like, since they're made um, specifically for this project, you can be 100% sure that no one knows them in advance since these are not like pre-released anywhere they're not on map testing anywhere it's like everyone has the exact same uh playing field here to get division one literally no one has an edge unless you went to twitter and like studied the screenshots it's like ah that looks like a left turn hmm i don't know if anyone did that but but it's like essentially Everyone's, uh... Same prep. Oh. I want to exit that far on the inside. So the question becomes, how can I do that? While not sacrificing my line. To go to the inside. Can I teleport to the inside of the turn without steering sharply to get there? This does have uh, cyberpunk uh, vibes. It really does. Low, really low. Oh yeah. That exit is the most important one that I've seen yet on this map. Oh, this turn is so... Okay, yeah. It's actually a very simple map, this one. It is not a complex map at all. Author time, 43. That drip. Okay, something's up there. <gasps> Wait. This is an insane idea, but hear me out. Because that exit is so late, you can wait for upper gear and carry upper gear into this already through the dirt. Because, and it's only because the the apex is so late. I think you can carry upper gear down there. For it. Hmm. Yeah, I ate it again. But it's fine. It's gonna continue for now. Figure that one out later. This is a bit later than I think, and the exit is very important.
and this one was full speed. Down to the right. Then a very late road. Oh, and the more speed you get there, can really stack, yeah. He in a lot. Okay. Nine minutes to uh, get a proper clean run. I still, no, I really like the theme with the upper gear, so I want to go for it. It really should make uh, sense. Yeah, look at this. How much is that? 0.2 only. I thought it would be more. Maybe it is more if I get it even better. But I think that concept has to be correct. It'd be so weird if it's not. Oh wow, but you get a gear there. Okay, if I can avoid that gear, we're chilling. There's one very important gear to avoid. Okay. Drop the gear, still fine. I hit the wall and I'm gonna PB by 0.3. <laughs> oh, that's a bit annoying. Okay, good. still bad, but it's faster than my PB right now. 0.6? Yeah, still pretty bad. This is gonna be close. I think that's it. Oh, that has to be Division 1, right? Are a lot of people gonna beat that? That was so clean. I got the idea to just go for an auto slide end and it looked so powerful. But okay, it is Division 1. It is Division 1. It's a very, very precise map. I barely made it with that uh, completion. But we're in. Starts in 10 seconds. I feel pretty good on this. Do we see any new names today? It's a good question. Uh, Blastnor, I don't think we see too often in Division 1.
probably a uh, free account player, so that's really cool. Um, other than that, a lot of familiar friends. Siren, I don't think I've seen too much. But mostly I feel like I've seen a majority of Division 1 in Division 1 before. But I could also just remember their names, because to get to Division 1, you have to, you know, be pretty good at the game. And uh, I might have seen these names on, like, leaderboards of other tracks, whatnot. But it's going to be interesting. Probably not the hardest map to drive consistently, but, like, there are so many small things that can cost you big time, like... Just messing up the setup for this last drift is going to cost you a lot of time. And I still have not, and I tell you right now, figured out how to do that. I was 96 behind, 111. So I lose like 0.2 there. Your safe pace is a fast pace. You say that, but I placed midfield. Uh, most people in here already beat my PV in the no knockout. Good luck, have fun. You gotta think about this map as a player in your division would. If you are scared of the risky finish in your division, there's a high probability that someone else is too. Alright? There's a high probability someone else fails the speed for it in your division if you do. Therefore, you can make the bet that they will fail and just go safe finish. And it should work for a while. until those players get knocked out, whatnot. I still lost to the best times there. Gernadi out already? Look, going out first round in Cup of the Day is one of the most painful things as a streamer. It is so painful. And so like, I was like, ha ha ha, lol, oh my god, so bad. Like this guy won 50 Cup of the Days, all right? Put some respect on this man's name, you can't laugh. It's just unfortunate. And it happened because he messed with game settings, oh. I have it on- I put it to 32! <laughs> I thought it's 32 blocks, oh dude! Yes, yeah, it's, it's- it's me that's not, I think. Why- <laughs> yeah, I don't see anything! That's... That's a track mania moment. I've had that happen once before as well. Um, which is an interesting piece of uh, information I can warn you guys about. If you ever open the settings menu while on an online server, that's a sign for the game to refresh everything that it's downloaded. So like, you join an online server, it will start downloading people's car skins, people's horns, like the, the sound it makes, right? Um, everything. When you press the settings button, it will load everything in. Uh, usually, that will cause your game to freeze for the next five to eight seconds, and you start the round late. So... Never click the settings button while you're on Couple of the Day server. Just don't hit it. If you have the wrong setting, it's too late. Can't change it. Could you show us? Uh, no. <laughs> no, I cannot. I think Grenadi was able to demonstrate it. I'm assuming that's what happened anyways. That was a lot of end speed. Yeah, that end speed carried me so far. 
I just felt the speed slide just like zoo my car. Wanted to enable tweaker, but the distance is now meters instead of blocks and I couldn't see anything. <laughs> okay. Well, that's different. He put on the render distance too low. Okay, alright. No, I take it back. That one is um, on him. No. <laughs> Not Nadeo. Although, is this perhaps a moment for me to make a, a case about why updates to plugins ruin everything? Could I could I talk about how Granati would not have failed had the creator of that plugin not updated it? Hmm. Just something to think about. I'm sure that was a very good update though. Very good update. Wouldn't need the plugin if Nadeo made a more optimized game. But like... Trackmania not being an optimized game is like... It's a constant in the universe. Like, it's something you can always rely on. It never changes. Until perhaps next year when they will release it on console. And they kind of have to. Like, you don't have much of a choice. But if you think... One second. Oh, that no slide is... An atrocity. Um, if you think this game runs poorly on computers, we once had a uh, Trekmania Air France Cup. And the concept was that players would grind the maps for a month or so, qualify to a tournament which would be hosted live on an Air France commercial plane. And they would be playing the tournament mid-air. However, they couldn't really bring computers, not even laptops, so they were playing on some like, you know, one of those like on plane iPads was what they were playing on. And they all had like 15 FPS, freezes, stutters, random like crashes. And this was like one of the biggest tournaments at the time. And it was just a complete flop in terms of playability. Also no live stream of it. No like VOD either, just ah, this was the person who won. See, what I meant by my save pace being slow here, like, I'm almost out. Oh, <laughs> I ate two gears. I'm gonna be last la first checkpoint. Kind of foresaw it. But I did that part really smoothly. Who? Why did I lose so much there though? Are they all risking that drift? That's crazy if they are. Because I, I feel like I'm doing risks there. But maybe they're just like... Full sending it more than me. I think they just have the approach and I don't. I kind of save it. Bad gear shift.
<laughs> okay, I'm glad people failed. This was again a terrible drift. Again on the drop gear. like that drift not much else to say about it it's just awkward to drive i am surviving it though Oh, it's like that. Okay, okay. I kind of see it now. It's more that you, um... You want to go high, so you get a speed slide on dirt rather than go inside line. Uh, I just need to dare to go up the hill with more speed. Generally, I always try to tell people to not, like, pull down the keys too hard, because that's how you'll get hand injuries and stuff, but... Just quick taps are often, like, hard taps to, like, really quickly adjust. You can't really, like, be soft with it when you just want to do a quick, you know, one tap to the side. But you should never, like, just hold the key harder. It will not make the car turn more, despite what you might think. Just, just doesn't do that. Oh no, this was bad. See, that is what I saw last time. <laughs> Oh my god, that improves my pace so much. Because this wasn't even necessarily a good run. But just a different setup for that last rift. That was a very close to disaster run. That could have easily had me out. That probably should have had me out. <laughs> I was like pixels from five walls or something. But okay. the approach. I'm not actually fast here. Ooh. Okay, it's fine. People have crashed. Now my pace, which is actually my PB still, 44.3? That's almost out. I need to get faster, 44.1. We made it to the top 16 though, so two knockouts per round. But yeah, this is the point where basically just one wall touch, one missed gear. One anything that's not ideal and you're, you're out. So. Gotta be precise from now on.
Oh my god, okay, people have crashed. <laughs> this was a very fast start. I lost it all in the end by saving the last drift. Or, I say saving, it was just a bad last drift. There were, they, I didn't try to do that, it was just bad. The first couple of turns were really good though. Okay. Oh god, good. That was almost crash. Close round. We hold the fourth though, again a point three. Point threes have been just enough so far, but they're starting to uh, put me further and further down. Top 12. Good speed here, I'm not actually lost. Now, I think I am. Damn. Oh, not by a lot. I need one more mistake, I think, from someone. Or two. That's a good end. That's the best I could hope for. Ah, uh, <laughs> that one corner cliff, though. Twelfth today. Not too bad. Could I have driven 43-9 consistently? Probably not. Let's see who wins it. That was so close. You saw, like, I didn't even fully, like, face plant it. I just had a small wheel left hanging out on the corner. That's enough to crash. Wait, what is this? Dexter and Shorty. Oh, that is a big bunk. Uh, they're going for a wide line on the start. Interesting approach. I don't think that's faster. Because you sacrifice- Oh my god, what's going on? Shorty might not be- <laughs> The Shorty saved this. He full crashed the start. This is the type of slugfest I was hoping for in my round. Might have had a chance. Oh my god, Shorty. With more speed. Shorty's in. He's saving it. Oh my, he actually saved it. I don't know how. 43.8 is very strong from Bran. Really, really sick. One knockout per round though. We have two current Track Mini Grand League players in Aurel and Bran. And then uh, some other players that have also been in the pro circuit like Scrappy, Snow. Oh, I think Scrappy either touched or lost the gear there. That is not enough time loss to be a touch. Oh, that is a touch, though. Big bonk. Is anyone going to save him? Would have to happen here. Speed soft. Risky drift approach, but everyone makes it, yeah. Speed self, even getting saved there. I feel like for a cyberpunk track, we need some... Uh, we need some synth wave. Actually, actually. There's this song. Okay, okay, okay. Let me, let me, let me match the theme of this song. Of the map, rather. Shorty with the wide line. Shorty with the lower gear. Speed South into the wall. The one that claimed my run takes him out as well.
No coming back from that. Top six. He actually started expecting CP speed stop in his last coincidence. Uh, it's actually not a coincidence at all. Like whoever I spectate will get knocked out. That's that's just how it works. I'm pulling the strings. The players here have no free will. I just click whoever I want to make the best show possible. It's all an illusion. Bren had to release. Down to last. Blissey right there, the one car length. <gasps> Snow! Bumping the corner somehow, having the capacity to save it, but is that gonna be enough? Oh my god. <laughs> That's a close round. I mean, what else can you say? That's a good round. All right. Apologies. It's all for the show. The show must go on. Without one player, whoever I click, they're gonna get knocked out. That is one heck of a line from Bren. So low. Last drift. Oh, Wissy has a good setup. He's not going out. He's not falling to the curse. Who is going out here, though? Shorty or RL? Oh my god, no. <laughs> it's a tie. But. Have you heard about the name rule? Uh, if there ever is a tie to the thousandth of a second in Cup of the Day, then it's just alphabetic sorting. Uh, a comes before S. RL comes before Shorty. Um, so yeah. Shorty getting knocked out there for having a uh, F tier name. Like, last couple of letters of the alphabet. Kind of should have thought of that before calling himself Shorty. Um... I don't really have the best name either. I have the virtual. I will always lose ties like that, but. The way you solve the problem is just by driving faster. Just drive 100 faster. Come on. Why are you even making it out to be a problem when you can just drive faster? That is, I don't get it. I don't get it. Top three. 12th versus Arel and Bren, the TMGL players. Map looks incredible. Yeah, it's a stunning one. All right, everyone inside line now. Oh, Bren releasing, not getting the gear. He's going to lose time here. And that puts him down into last, I believe, Arel have a sub better setup. Oh, they're about even now. Stalling the gear perfectly. Arel with a lot of speed there. Fastest of them all right now. Into the downhill. Bren going so much on the inside line. Arel there as well. Arel pushing the corner. Where is Bren though? They all are so fast this round. But it's going to be 12th out with a 44 flat. That's a great round. 44 flat and you're out. I don't think I would have won this couple today. I, I'd be good for a few more rounds, but whew, that is uh, one level beyond what I can do on this. Let's see who takes it. Ran with the small in the start. I think Aurel missed the gear. Bren looks like he missed it as well. Pretty equal. Aurel goes a bit wider for this drift. Bren on the inside line, and then Bren pushes so much downhill here, close to the checkpoint. Two tenths of a lead now before the last slide. Aurel's gonna need a great drift to take this one. Goes low, but is it gonna be enough? Bren still has that one. Aurel trying for speed here. He's going for a lot of speed. That is actually maybe, just maybe, enough, but no. Bren 43.9. 
around 44 flat. Good race again. Good game. Bren wins Neo Cupra.